My practice is preoccupied with this part to whole relation and procedural thinking that would allow for growth and decay and for me to observe that growth and decay. But using linguistic material and found imagery and mirroring that with actual real substances. It becomes form, it becomes texture, and then it becomes layered over many things that I know are a part of me but are not at the same time. Through this understanding of process and observation of process, one can understand the process of subjectivity as incomplete, multidimensional, and always at different states. Some artists, they have an idea and they execute, and I always find that I just find out after. So I don't do that, I just set up and then it happens. Um, and I think a lot of phenomena, contemporary phenomena, politically, socially, you have all these kind of retrospective explanations, but they are in fact very chaotic, disturbing emergences. I feel I want to understand this condition of chaos through starting with something very, very small and particular and I'm putting it into this kind of system, this processing system, a processing of science, a processing of self. That's always in a state of flux. Yeah, and I want to learn. I mean, that's the main thing, that I'm always learning from this. Well, this is a great opportunity. I mean, I'm really happy and quite surprised. Um, and it is really important that, you know, until women have the same footing, I mean, these things are really building towards that and but for me personally beyond the kind of wider understanding of the prize it's really incredible because I guess it's an opportunity to kind of expose a practice that wouldn't normally be seen.